89.3 FM Toledo and Lima, 88.5 FM Wasia on the web at yeshome.com, on the SFM Android and iTunes app, and the TuneIn Radio app. And now at 89.1 FM Fremont. We are going to the phones where we are joined by KB. He's got a new album yes, coming out. Or it has come out. It came out in April, April 21st. Tomorrow we mm-hmm. live. KB, welcome mm-hmm. to the Wake Up Call. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Well, we are excited to talk with you today, and uh, how, how's the album been going? It's been going very well. Um, I think it was well-received last month, and then now I'm on the road touring it. And uh, every night, it feels very uh, experience-like as I'm sort of uh, relaying the heart of the album through live performance. So it's been fun. All right, well, where are you at uh, today? Where'd you play last night? Well, um, my my next stop is L.A., um, which I'll be heading out there Thursday. Uh huh. And um, yeah, man, I'm uh, uh, getting to see uh, just kind of who the KV fans are all over, and um, it's just been encouraging. Well, tell us about the journey of uh, KV. How you come? How you got to this point? Yeah, man. Well, I'm uh, I'm from Tampa, Florida. Um, I was born in St. Petersburg, and um, I, I had a uh, not an incredibly harsh or rough childhood, but I had some setbacks, uh, some family splits, and um, finding myself uh, in, in very in a very very dark place. Uh, and I think it was in that dark place by the by the age of you know uh, sixteen that um, I I found Jesus, and uh, my life literally hasn't been the same ever since. And um, I never considered doing music full time or as a you know as a, a career, um, but uh, it sort of turned to that as I began to try it, and people started liking it and wanting to do more of it. Uh, I found it out there was more opportunities, and people weren't tired of me yet. So I was like, all right. Let me keep going, and uh, you know, one thing led to another. End up getting a record deal with uh, Reach Records. All right, that had to be an ex- had to be exciting, huh? How'd you get hooked up with yeah, the absolutely? Yo- what? Uh, how'd you get hooked up with the uh, uh, Lecrae and the One One Six Gang? Yeah, well, um, I was a part of. I am a part of still here in Tampa. Uh, this uh, this group called HGA, which stands for His Glory Alone, and uh, and we were really in the city. Um, Sparking a mini movement. I mean, uh, we were doing little concerts around and uh, having, you know, 400 people, 500 people show up to the concerts. And we were, you know, out in the streets and almost like door to door. I had a little Bible study at my house that almost turned into a church. It was getting so large and it caught Lecrae and 116's uh, um, attention. It, it, uh, it caught their eye. And um, Lecrae reached out to me and wanted to. Uh, you know, get some time together when he came to Tampa, and uh, and we did that, and and that turned into uh, a relationship, which blossomed into a record deal. And he uh, appears on uh, at least one of your songs on the album. Look correct. Yes, that's right. That is correct. Yeah, that's correct. Now, tell us about uh, tomorrow. We live the just the uh, the, yeah. the emotional, the intimacy that uh, is expressed in the album. Yeah, well, Tomorrow We Live is an album about hope. Uh, it's uh, I designed it, I wrote it, and intended it to be uh, like an escape for um, whoever is looking for uh, an encouragement. I mean, it's a dark, we're, we're in a dark, dark time, you know, in mm-hmm. history, and there's plenty going around. I don't want to add to the noise or, or the nothingness music that is out there. I don't want to add to people's hope and their encouragement, their joy, their faith. So I created an album um, that you can run to um, when you, uh, when you know, daily, and, and even when you know you're at moments where it's it's very important that you hear something that lifts you. So um, that's what it is, and that's kind of the the content of it. And um, I try to take people there on an emotional journey that goes through all the twists and turns of a day, from waking up in the morning, you know, getting to wake up, you know. You know, yes, FM, wake up in the morning, <laughs> or, you know, all the way to when you go to sleep at night and you woke up out of your sleep to a tragedy. I cover it all and uh, um, hope that people can, you know, find themselves somewhere. Now, you kind of got away for this album, too, because you headed out to South Africa to do to some of the work. How did that, being in South Africa and being influenced by those musical styles, influence this album? Oh, man, it had profound effects. I mean, I was challenged by some people in my team that, to change up your uh, environment really opens your creative uh, abilities in ways that you can't really appreciate until you just do it. 
Uh, and I was skeptical of it, but I was down to try. And had, I had never done nothing like that before. I'm used to writing at home, you know, and in, in my room or driving down the street or in the shower. So, uh, but I was like, okay, <laughs> let's try it. So I, I went to, we went, and uh, man, it was, it was as if the 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 chains that I didn't even know were on my creative ability were unlocked, and uh, my mind was open. Um, because there's so much culture in South Africa. I mean, it's another continent for crying out loud. And uh, there's, you just get so much from uh, the inspiration. You get, you get so much inspiration from the, just the setting alone. And then to have other local musicians add to the creative process was very, um, it was very evolutionary for me. Well, on uh, Tomorrow We Live, what were some of the songs that r- really stood out to you that really have a, a real deep meaning and are, and are special to you? Uh, well, there's one, the song that I made for my son, um, which is me, uh, which I, I kind of got some controversy for because it's a utter departure from anything I've ever done before. Hmm. People actually know that I can sing some. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that the song is called Fall in Love With You. I, I, re- I wrote it from, uh, I tried to recreate that moment when I held my son in my hands for the first time. To talk about the love and the uh, the commitment, the joy that I felt. I wrote a whole song to kind of expand that moment, and uh, so that that, is, that song is very special to me. Um, and also, there's a song on there called "Calling You," um, which is about um, uh, a soldier um, dealing with, um, you know, I think it's PTSD. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I said that right. Yeah. And um, which was uh, actually an issue, a real life issue with a guy from our community who actually was dealing with that, who ended up taking his own life. And, I got a song that kind of chronicles what would I do if um, if I was able to stop him and he reached out to me before. Definitely deal with some heavy subjects on this album. Yes, yes, indeed. Yep. And then the, the big uh, song uh, that we're playing right now, Sideways. Uh, tell us about Sideways. Yeah, so Sideways is a song that's uh, about getting looked at strange. It's almost a... Uh, natural human reaction when you see something you don't understand to kind of turn your head to the side like what <laughs> and uh, we wanted to encourage people to be okay with that and uh, not for reasons of status I don't want you looking at me sideways because the house I live in or the car I drive or what you know my wife looks like or uh, anything you know earthly we want we want people to look sideways at us for the reason they look sideways at you know Jesus and um, so because you know he lived differently he was countercultural he was revolutionary he was scandalous in a lot of ways um, that's what we in in uh, a more spiritual way we want people to be confounded by who we are and I, I wanted to talk about that and Lecrae and I came together and uh, you know you get the song sideways and, and the video for the song is a lot of fun uh, tell us about your experience with that and how they, how you did that? Yeah, thing. yep, yep. So I had an idea from watching Interstellar, Interstellar, and Inception. <laughs> uh, really, the, the end of Interstellar, and then moments in uh, in Inception where people were able to kind of defy, you know, gravity and you know walk on walls comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I was like, man, I brought the idea to my to the media team at Reach and said, this is what I want to do, and um, they. It was one of those things where you want a director, a director to be excited about your idea, and uh, he, Kyle and Nick, were extremely excited, and they, for about a week straight, built a room that they could defy gravity in. So that's uh, that's kind of that was the heart behind it, and that's kind of how it came out the way it came. So were there any uh, uh, faux pas or trips or whatever when you uh, were twirling in that? Uh that uh, rotating room or however they did that? Any funny stories? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the funny thing is when they showed me the... They, they did a behind-the-scenes video of how they did the video, how they did, how they created the box and stuff. Okay. But they edited they edit out the, this one part where when I walked in and saw it for the first time, I was blown away. I was like, man, these dudes are crazy. This is amazing. You dudes really outdid yourself. And they said, let's show you how it works, KB. So they begin to turn the box upside down. And there was a glass light fixture at the top of uh, the box. And when they turned it upside down, the glass <laughs> fell and <laughs> broke all over 
the uh, and if I would have been standing there, it would have split my head oh. um, pretty badly. I would have had to get stitches. So uh, I was like, uh, "Let's just take that off." And, and uh, <laughs> let's. And then they end up they end up removing all the glass because uh, stuff kept breaking. Uh, but once they got everything glass free, it was uh, it was good to go. So there you go. If you're planning on building a gravity free room at your home, get the glass yes. out first. <laughs> take the glass out. Yes. <laughs> now, KB, you also have you guys have released a uh, a little documentary, kind of two part documentary series on your life called Before Tomorrow. Uh, it's up yeah. on your guys' YouTube channel. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, Before Tomorrow is um, is a really journey through who I am as a person. Um, uh, I've been doing music for professionally for four years now, and I've never had. I, even in my music, I haven't talked much about myself. And um, I like to say because I'm so humble, you know, I've never <laughs> had time to do it. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I, I have not really talked much about myself, and it's important. We felt like as a team, we felt like it was important that people are introduced to who I am. I, I, there was a lot of comments from the team like, man, people need to know what are you about, what do you stand for, what the type of stuff that you, you do. Um, so that's what Before Tomorrow was about. It was... You know, me talking about my failures, my fears, my, my faith, and my family. And um, I'm hooked up with a um, a very beastly, world-class videographer, Ben Bradley, who actually lives here in Tampa with me. Him and I formed a real good relationship and doing a lot of work together. Um, and uh, he, we came together, and he really put out what I think is, you know, at least as far as my video is concerned, the, magnus, the magnum opus of what I've, what I've put out. I mean, it was... Very well done. It felt like a movie, more like a short film than a documentary. And, um, yeah, and that's, you know, that's before, before tomorrow. And that's up on uh, Reach Records' YouTube channel if you people want to check that out. Yes. All right, KB, where can people go to uh, keep up with what's going on with KB, find out uh, where you're going to be in concerts, and just uh, find out all things KB? Yes, you can go to whoiskb.com. And, um, yeah, who is KB.com? Or if you want to rock with me on Twitter, it's KB at KB underscore HGA for his glory alone. That's KB underscore HGA. Same as Instagram. And that's the exact same as Instagram. All right. And uh, you got, so you got uh, tours coming. You're going to be California, Florida, your home state of Florida, Texas. Uh, anything uh, beyond see, the list I have uh, up to June 19th? Anything beyond June 19th scheduled right now? There is. There's a whole lot. Um, unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, I don't know it off the top, and they're still updating the calendar. But if you stay, uh, you stay up there, you'll see what we're doing in July and August and into September. All right. Well, hopefully you're coming to uh, the Great Lakes area here so we can catch That would be sweet. All right. That would be sweet. Well, yeah. t- Tomorrow We Live, available now. And uh, who are some of the guests uh, besides Lecrae that you have uh, on the album? Yeah, so I got my friend Matty from For Today. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, also uh, Blanca from Word Records. And um, and then there's a very strange appearance from a professional, actually, two-time <laughs> Masters, you know, champion golfer, uh, Bubba Watson. Bubba he, Watson is on there. He so. does an awesome <laughs> job, too. I was, he we, does. We, we saw that he was on that cut, and we're like, oh, my goodness, what's this going to be like? He is great. He's got, it's <laughs> yeah. good and nice that he's got something to fall back on in case the golf doesn't work out. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> How did you get hooked up with Bubba Watson? Uh, mutual friends. Mutual friends. Yeah, Bubba is uh, actually a big Christian hip-hop fan, and um, he really jumped over the opportunity um, to, to be a part of a, a, a Christian hip-hop song. Now, are you a golfer at all? Has he been helping you with your game? No, but he needs to, man. To. I'm going to be with him next week. Maybe he can teach you some stuff. Yeah, maybe, maybe he'll let you try on his green jacket, too. That'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> well, tell him that, uh, at least in Toledo, folks are waiting for his first full-length rap album. <laughs> I'll let him know. I'll let him know. <laughs> well, hey, KB, thanks for joining us this morning. It was great talking with you, and again, hopefully we'll uh, see you in the area soon. And um, Hey, we, we talked about the song earlier, the video. Lecrae joins you on this song. We're going to uh, send you off uh, with Sideways. So uh, thanks again, KB, and uh, hopefully we'll talk with you again soon. Yes, indeed. God bless. You too. God thanks. bless. Yes, FM. FM.